For most Amish teens, socializing with the opposite sex slows down when their school ends after eighth grade. But that changes with Rumspringa. Even the most conservative Amish let teenagers come together and socialize after church. They can talk, sing traditional hymns in German, and maybe do a little courting. Every Sunday night we get to go to the singing wherever, wherever the church was that day, whoever wants it. And if there's a girl that you want, you go on a date and have fun. If not, you just let her go. Yeah. I didn't have a date tonight, but there might be a chance next Sunday to have one. So. Mary Gingrich left her Amish community two years ago and now lives with her husband Eli in Columbia, Missouri, a haven for ex Amish. A first date in the Amish is, is a little weird. You're a little nervous, you don't really know this guy, and you know you have to abide by the Amish rules. Both the guy and the girl know that. They can't just do anything. They can hold hands, sit like really close by each other, but they can't just go wherever they want to go. Once dating starts, the couple uses an open horse and buggy the kind the Amish call a courting buggy. Yeah, Sunday night buggy rides uh, were a time when, when they were unsupervised and alone were a very important time together. Kids will be kids and youth will be youth, and Amish are the same as many others. They do have some fun times when they probably would race their horses uh, just to see what, uh, uh, who has the fastest horse. Amish kids may race their horses, but Amish communities insist they put on the brakes when it comes to premarital sex. Premarital sex is a sin against God. Laverne Keim is an elder in the Garnett, Kansas Amish community. Premarital sex in this community is very much discouraged because uh, we do not believe in that. If it does happen, and they are a member, the church will let them confess so they can go ahead and get married. Or if you happen to leave, you have done left the church, plus had all this. So when you come back, it's gonna be a lot bigger deal to come back in. In the past, some Amish boys and girls were allowed to court each other in bed, so long as they kept their clothes on and the girl had the sheets to herself. Bed courtship is when a boy and a girl would go to bed with each other. The Amish young people for many years had uh, bed courtship, but it was uh, frowned upon. And uh, Amish young people knew that. And many of them, I think, um, were repentant of that. Bed courtship, it's, I would just say it's sleeping together, you know, it's that, um, I know would that classify that as having sex together or, you know, what they... I know some communities would maybe allow that for bed courtships, but here they very discourage that, about not sleeping together or being in the same bed or any of that. You know, me and Julia have decided to follow the tradition of not having any uh, premarital sex before we get married. The Amish today are being taught to, to, to live the way that the Lord wants them to live and to be more reserved in their way of uh, living and not as open to temptations. And the Lord has a way of working those things out for us.